Are you from the Sudan? Yeah. Yeah. You're just out here all by yourself today. I've only seen one other person out here doing a, a one-person protest before. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, no, uh, more people know him. I don't know why. But I came here and I wanted to hear my voice in Sudan. About the military coup? Yeah, I saw that on the news. Uh, are you guys tricks? <laughs> not today. I'm not talking about the scooter. Uh, no, no, not today. Um, I actually about to head into work. What do you do? Uh, well, I work as a security officer in the downtown mall, and then I also work at Buca de Beppo, downtown Italian restaurant. You hustling, man. I'm hustling. I got two jobs, making money, you know. Right on. See, the FFA kids might yeah. keep you employed this week, huh? I, rem I remember them days. Seven, yeah. 16, 17 years old, I was showing cows. Were you? Were you part of this? Yeah. Yeah? For about a year, and then I was like, this nah. ain't me. This is me. <laughs> this you know? is you, huh? I'm a skater, you know. I'm still country at heart, but... That bad, it's like Evil Knievel. Get out of here. Go! Won't be long. What's happening, man? What's to, up? To, like, Finally got you. You got me. <laughs> I know. I told you. Sorry. You're fine.
my best interpretation of what I do now. Don't be real, I don't really think about it. I'm in the flow now. Do it. Yeah, guys, do it, bro. You never know what you're gonna see down here, man. Yeah, for real. <laughs> it's I rough around seen, uh, the edges. I just seen a guy at the uh, Circle Center Mall get stabbed in the eye while trying to get robbed. Oh, uh, was it a uh, homeless on homeless? No, it was just a regular guy. Yeah, two Gets regular guys. And somebody tried to rob him right in the middle of the day? Yep. And he resisted and he stabbed him in the eye. Oh, that's awful, man. <sighs> that was kind of weird, but hey. Breaking the law! and a wipeout. Where are you guys from? Illinois. Say it like you mean it. Galena, Illinois. Okay, right on Galena. Yep. Yeah, up there by Iowa. Yeah. yeah. Got a big uh, dam, right? Well, yeah. yeah, okay. Walls around the city. Real nice place. I've been there once for a wedding. Yeah. What? <laughs> you got something? What? You got something? No? Surely somebody in your whole organization must skate. You know, I'm a very social person. I get out here, I make friends, I talk to everyone. You know, today's just been a me day. I won't stay to myself. That's why I have my earbuds in. That's why I barely heard you. I just saw you wave. Sorry at to me. be bugging. I, I just saw you wave at me. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna stop. He's on the skateboard. Everyone else that's waved at me, I just kept going. But you're on a skateboard. You so must I had be to stop. popular, man. No, hardly anybody waves at me. Yeah. OG. Easy now. This is what's really killing me right here, is the whole Hooters thing. Is that good enough for you? Yeah. How many scooter accidents do you think we're going to see this weekend? A few? I don't, I don't know. These are really easy to ride. So are I they? Say we're gonna see I've seen a few over the years. Really? Yeah. Yeah, they're... One of my favorite bartenders. Yeah, the birds do that for some reason. They yeah. don't... 
What do they do? So whenever you're going, yeah, and you stop, and then you try to go again, they'll they won't go for like. Is that why he's kind of trembling there? Yeah. Yeah. Because it Saw wasn't that. going. Weird. So. Are you from the Sudan? Yeah. Yeah. You're just out here all by yourself today. I've only seen one other person out here doing a, a one-person protest before. I haven't this heard is, much about her lately. This is all the things she's not allowed to do. Why isn't she allowed to do those things? Her father has taken control and she's in a conservatorship that was only supposed to be for you. And she's in there, she's been in there for 12 years. 12 years? And is she, does she have mental issues? Is that what That's it is? That's what they think, but no one's ever been proven that she has mental issues. So I never thought in my wildest dreams that I'd see somebody down here protesting for Britney Spears. Excuse me, I'm just I, no, 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 no. It's I, okay. I, I, that's that's a new one for me. How long you been doing this kind of uh, stuff? This is my first rally, actually. Is you think there'll be more people here? I'm hoping. I have a few people that are coming. My mom is on her way. Um, I honestly just want to get the word out there and have people spread. You know, I I even have a flyer if you want to. If people want to follow me on it. No, awesome. I'll give you a shout out there. And, you know, I always like to let people tell me about new things and stuff I've never heard of. And, uh. I've had a few people saying that, trying to argue with me about Britney, or saying that whole stuff, this doesn't matter because of what's going on in the world. But a lot of people are in these kind of things, conservatorships, and they yeah. can't do anything. It's sad. Because you're basically enslaved. Uh, I don't know why uh, no, uh, more people know him. I don't know why. But I came here and I wanted to hear my voice in Sudan. About the military coup? Yeah, I saw that on the news. Uh, the last military coup I saw down here was from Myanmar. Uh, the Burmese. The military tried to take over the government. How long have you been out here? Live here, like uh, 10 months. Well, I mean, how long have you been out here on the circle? With your pro how long have you been on the circle today with your protest? Uh, okay, uh, like two hours. Two hours? Yeah. Has anybody asked you anything besides the gentleman that was just up here? No? Well, I do this thing called the Indianapolis Skateboard Journalist. And so I just make videos about uh, downtown Indy. And so whenever I see somebody out here doing something, especially a protest or something on the circle, I'm going to talk to them and I ask them, you know, if you have anything to say about the situation, feel free. And I will edit you in a friendly way that will not make you look silly or whatever. Thank you so much. Up, man. Oh, you know. More FFA kids all over the place. Oh, yeah, dude. Can't even ride the sidewalks this week without it. It's really up with my skill level out there. <laughs> Not even over at Cups? I went to Cups and it was empty. I was like, oh, I love it. <laughs> Yesterday, there was a line of them. I'm hot with this jacket on, man. I bet. I came out with the jacket too. I already had the is that a steam pipe just blow up? I think that might be a turkis. Yeah, it looks like it's a controlled one. Oh, there's a little more.
I've I'm had so it. many people wave at me, stop me, like just the other day, right over there. Uh, Yesterday, I was skating and these two dudes stopped me and started doing tricks with me. They're skaters and they yeah. also make music, but they didn't have their skateboards, so they saw me have my they board. They just wanted to like, ride hey, your board. Let me try some. I was like, all right, here you go. You know, Some guys won't give up their board like that. I will. Lock that jacket, huh? Nice. Do you, do you, what do you have to say about what's going on over there? I don't know what to say. How does it how does it make you feel? What's feel, happened over there? Feel is bad, feel is bad. Because all my uh, family, my friends in Sudan, and they kill people, kill children, and they give them the bad, 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 and uh, nothing is good. Everything is bad, and you all day bad, and last day, and last day, and last day. Do you think that they have to fear for their lives, your family over there now? Yes, I know all people. It's not not safe right now. Not safe for anyone over yeah, there right now. Safe. Are you are you happy to be in the United States? No happy. Not really. You'd rather be back in Sudan. Yeah, because all my sister and my brother and my friend in the in the country, in my country uh, is road and talk about what's happening right now. But if today I am in Sudan. I am in the road. Are you here studying or just political yes. asylum or? Yeah, asylum, yeah. I'm actually glad Well, nice stopped. talking to you, Zach. Enough stuff to do. I'm going to do my normal rest of my ride and then I'm going to work myself. Yeah, I'm about to head in at two, or actually noon, so. Right on. Is it, is it that late already? I'm going to be in trouble. <laughs> uh, it is currently 11.02. Well, you take care. Nice talking to you. Good luck in the Army. Appreciate it. Have a nice day. And good luck with the skating. Hey man, I like that car. I caught a little footage of you cruising northbound just a minute ago. Here's this thing I do. My name's Tom. How about your name? My name is Hajir. Hajir. First name is Hajir. Nice to meet you, Hajir. Welcome to Indianapolis, and I hope you have a good time here and make some friends and, and settle in okay. And sorry about what's going on over in your homeland. But hopefully, hopefully something will happen over there. I know Sudan's had a rough yeah, yeah. several decades. Yeah. Today, yeah. All people in the world know what's happening in Sudan. Well, I'll put you in my video. Maybe people will take a look at it. I don't even think some people don't even know anything about what's happening over there. You know, it's not in the news that much. Although I did hear about it the day that it happened. Okay, you can't do anything you want for this video. What's that? You can't do anything for this video. You can't do anything. You want. No, I'm gonna just put put it on there and let people see. Okay. You know, because I really applaud you for coming out here and speaking your mind. So you take care of yourself and good luck to you. Okay. And well, like I said, welcome to any and anytime you need anything, just yell, Tom. <laughs> take care. You're welcome.